do like that, big garages, aren't they? There's a big garage as well. So I'm looking at the roller team Zafiro 685. It's four berth, four transit. Uh, it's license friendly, mass and running order. It's 3136. So 300 and something payload. As displayed, it's got a 130 brake horsepower engine pack. And standard layout, it's rear beds at the back. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, so Ford six speed manual, big sort of shelf area up there. I'd like to see cupboards there, but there you go. Got, uh, cupboards below the drop down bed, electric drop down bed, which has actually got controls on the bed, which I think I always think is a better idea. And see where the bed is then. Little side seat, travel seats with a little L-shaped thing. Obviously, a table that slides around, moves around. Well, hopefully, it doesn't slide around when you're eating, but you can slide it around. Looks like there's a USB point over there. Neck curtains. And then over here, mirror as you come in. TV point there. I can't see where the bracket is though. Not quite sure where you'd mount your TV there, but it's there anyway. It's one of these fridges with the I don't think like a wine cooler at the bottom. Trimmer blown air heating, and you've got your controls up there. Feels a bit like an Adria in uh, style. Burner hob, set for duplex oven. Just moving into the bedroom, sorry, washroom area, midships, shower, and bathroom. That's quite nice. Looks like you hang your clothes in there, or well, that's just to hang wet clothes. We go in here. I can't see any other wardrobes at the moment. I like the floor. Nice uh, wooden effect floor, good sink, corner sink, frosted glass, that's alright, that's good. That closes off the area, but can you close off the rest of it? I don't know how that works. It doesn't look like you can close off the shower to the bedroom, never mind. About the beds, then quite a big step up there. Obviously, you could put a mattress thing in there. Uh, reasonably, well, pretty long. This one's even longer. Obviously, it's got an extra bit on the end there. They've got cupboards above, lockers behind. sit down. Yeah, it's nice. And it's a Ford. Yeah, so this is the new T-Line 743, four berth, four seat belts, Euro 6D engine, 120 brake horsepower, but as displayed here it's got the 140 brake horsepower engine and the driver's pack. So thing about this one is it got the transverse bed at the back. Price is displayed 59590 You've got a really big garage. Slatted bed above, which I think is always better. But it looks like some of the heating, yeah, the heating vents in here. So uh, so you do get some heating in here. Tie down straps there. Ah, oh, it's going. 
greeted by quite a long kitchen here, so let's do the kitchen first. This is the second time I've seen this idea where you've got like a chest freezer. At first I thought that was a bit strange, but when you think about it, it's most things that you're going to carry frozen are going to be quite bulky. So that's a good idea. A smaller fridge underneath. And that's a manual manual fridge, I think. We've got a oven this side, duplex oven this side. Got the. I thought, I thought that might be a chopping board, but it is just a top, isn't it? We've just got a top there. Yeah. So moving over here, obviously you've got space for a TV that pops out from behind this little dicky chair. Folding table. Quite know what's going on there, but obviously moves and folds and all sorts of things. But you've got this massively long, we've seen this in the other uh, T-lines, this massively long sofa here. You've got two travel seats there, but <laughs> you've still got space on there. Let's just sit down a minute. Usual cab control, uh, so make I don't recognise for centre there. Can't see what it says actually. Open space at the top. I do wish they'd fill that in. I suppose they're trying to create a sense of space in here. I just think it's wasted space. And the little lockers above the bed were quite difficult to move. It looks like you've got like a false floor in here, so it must be underfloor storage. Let's make our way into the bedroom shower area. That's got a dot duckboard thing there so I can't look in the hole of the shower but sort of get the idea there that's good and behind it is the toilet and wash area it's a Thetford toilet yeah yeah there in the in the bedroom that would get a bit annoying there's a real shuffle around here oh yeah I can't get past there so I suppose you can put the bed on uh, the garage under there so does that move doesn't look like that moves so that's quite a narrow area to get past there unusual shaped hanging spaces obviously one on the other side that one Can't quite see what's going on over there is that an open space there yeah I think it is and two lockers behind I think you'd be getting into the bed this side and climbing over the top it's almost like a full transverse bed Doors, lockers there, more lockers there. Yeah. It's quite a novel, novel layout, I suppose. those covers up there as well <laughs> got like a padded bit there I suppose that if you're in the bed you might catch your feet on that so I suppose that's good soon those go up there yeah as long as you make extra space there yeah 
heater controls, trimmer blown air, and controls up there. Yeah, so it comes equipped with a bike rack, a rear view camera. Another little locker there. Underbelly locker. Yeah. Yeah, so we were asked to look at the Adria Compact Supreme SP. The only one I can see on this stand, Adria, is the Compact uh, Supreme DL. Let's have a look anyway. things they, they do here is obviously they have the folding table and these two seats make into travel seats. Aftex TV up there. Usual Fiat layout. Little lockers above. Well they're not lockers are they? They're little open spaces. Massive skylight there. That goes back with another skylight there. There's a push to open. Not nice. Obviously, that's the travel seat with a headrest there, so presumably it's a removable headrest. Moving back into the kitchen. Sink. Three burners in a row. Nice to look outside. I've put a Thetford uh, duplex in there, I guess it is. And you've got a shower and washroom in here. This is very stylish. There's a really nice look about it, all the white finish. It's got a Figure out how that moves. I don't know how that moves, I won't move it, but you get the idea. Hanging rail. Yeah. Nice shiny finish on the cupboards. Actually got two drain holes there. Yeah. This one's got double beds at double single beds at the back cupboard space under here and under there. It's a novel thing. That slides out. If you can see that, that sort of slides out and makes some space. You can actually leave that open. Three steps up into the bedroom. Reclining, tilting beds. Trying to see what's underneath there. Can't quite see anything, it just switches. Quite nice. So I want to say there's a huge amount of headroom under under there. If you've got it tilted up, you'd have to watch your head. But it looks like the difference between the DL and the SP is the SP is transverse beds across the back, and DL is single beds. Thumbs up, remember to subscribe, you know what to do. See you later.